This um this picture I have here, yeah. which talks about the brain and love. Mm. What is that showing? The most intense forms of love. Okay, uh, that's why you see such amazingly complex areas of the brain lighting up. You've got a lot happening in the core of the brain here. This is the limbic system, and you've got happening neocortically as well in relation to areas related to um, social behaviour, but also things like empathising. Okay, and maintenance and trust and all those sorts of things. Love for a friend is from a neuroscientific point of view, nearly as complicated as romantic love. But what it doesn't actually have, which is really interesting, is in romantic love, the difference is we actually get some activations which mirror the activations you get if you're on an opiate, mm -hmm. that sort of addictive euphoric um, sensation. You get, that, you get that pattern in romantic love, you don't get it in friendship love. You also don't generally get biobehavioral synchrony in friendship unless it's a really close friend. So friendship love is just less intense. It's a love, but it's not as intense. I wouldn't describe this as love for a stranger. What you can see, the reason why I say that is, can you see how little unconscious activation there is? This is the limbic area. But it's the same with the pet. So, so we get, we're not getting any unconscious, nurturing attachment behaviors, which you wouldn't expect to get with a stranger. 